When it comes to the county sales tax, some people living in Whitfield County, Georgia, say businesses are collecting more than they should. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell joins us now to explain this. Tanisha. Well, Cindy, a splost tax that went into effect in Whitfield County in 2015, meaning a 1% tax was put on most goods throughout the county, but that expired in June. But some shoppers say it's not reflecting on their receipts. After a quick trip to the grocery store. You don't really look on your receipt. Doug Crinky admits he was not concerned about the sales tax. I guess a large purchase you'd notice. Car, you know, something like that. For the past four years, Whitfield County residents have been paying for a splost tax. It raised the county's tax 1%, bringing the total sales tax to 7%. Since the SPLOS tax expired in June, the sales tax was supposed to drop down to 6%, but shoppers say some businesses have not acknowledged a change. So we decided to do some shopping and see for ourselves. We stopped by Dollar General, Crystals, and McDonald's. Um, can I just get a medium Coke, please, and that's it? All of our receipts checked out. Then we stopped by Lalo's to go and ordered a drink. You want ice with it on the side? Uh, that's fine. Okay, it's 214. We checked our receipt and noticed the drive through diner was still going by the 7% sales tax. It's not clear why some businesses have not changed their tax rate. A spokesperson for the State Department of Revenue says they send electronic notifications and post on their website a month before tax changes go into effect. We're also told it is not illegal unless a business doesn't report their full tax rate. While there's no way for the state to verify a business's earnings until the end of the year, customers can request a refund. Hope they're doing the ethical. Now we reached out to Senator Chuck Payne. He says he plans to bring up the issue with the Finance Committee. He hopes to find a way to help notify businesses so this doesn't keep happening. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.